Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have five all new Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs to share with you. And like always, these are all gonna be really easy to recreate and you only need a few items for each one. And if you are new here, I would love to have you join us by subscribing down below. All right, let's jump right into the first DIY and this one is definitely one of my favorites from this video. So we're gonna get started with an eight by 10 gold frame from Dollar Tree and this free printable. Now for this DIY, I actually created four different free printables. I'm gonna leave the link for my blog down below. This is the post that it's going to bring you to. All you have to do is scroll down to the bottom, click on that pink link, it's gonna say free printables, and you're gonna see these four ones pop up. Now these are all sized perfectly for that Dollar Tree eight by 10 frame. Just pick your favorite. I want it to go with the green and I'm gonna be adding some gold to this DIY, but I also have the blue snowflakes. That would be beautiful if you wanna do blue blue and silver or just red with that red background. There are lots of different options. Now I did print mine out on cardstock. You can just print it out on regular printer paper as well. And then you can use the template inside when you're trimming it out or just go ahead and cut it to size. It is sized perfectly. Then you can go ahead and just frame it. And you do wanna frame it behind the glass because we are going to be using the glass for the DIY. Next, you wanna go ahead and just grab some of these ornaments from Dollar Tree. You get 12 of them for a dollar 25 we're going to be using eight of them for this DIY. I'm just gonna be taking one of the Dollar Tree candles and this is only because I want to make my wreath around here. I wanna have that perfect circle in the middle. So this is just going to be my placeholder right now. And since I did want to use eight ornaments, that way my pattern wouldn't be broken up with two of the same ornaments right next to each other between the glitter and the mat, I did have to make my wreath slightly larger than the candle itself just to fit all eight of them, but it was a good placeholder just to get that circle. I attached all eight of my ornaments using my Gorilla Hot Glue sticks with my hot glue gun. I will be sure to link those down below. Now I'm going to go ahead and get started on my bow and I'm going to be using these two different velvet ribbons. These ones are actually from Joanne Fabrics. Dollar Tree does have a ton of ribbons to choose from. I had just picked these up because I love the look of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just make a layered bow and I'm going to show you the steps here. So right now I'm just cutting all the ribbon I'm going to need. So I have these two longer pieces. I'm going to go ahead and just layer those on top of each other. Those are going to be the tails of my bow. Now I'm going to go ahead and take this burgundy piece here and just basically hot glue it into a loop. I'm going to do the same thing with this green piece of ribbon. I'm just going to hot glue it into a loop and then I'm just going to lay this piece on top of my burgundy one. Now to hold all of these together, I'm going to trim a small piece of the burgundy ribbon and I'm just going to use that to hold everything together in the center and then I'm just just going to hot glue them in the back. This is a great hack to make a beautiful bow and you don't have to worry if everything is facing the right way. It's going to turn out perfect every time. Just add a little bit of hot glue to the back of your bow and add it to the top of your wreath. I just hot glued it to the glass and then I just played around with the bow until I got the placement right. And here's how it turned out. I love this DIY. I think it looks so beautiful and unique and you can completely customize it depending on what color you are looking for. Next, we're gonna get started with one one of these flameless candles from Dollar Tree. I also picked up some of these cinnamon sticks. You can find these at Dollar Tree in their kitchen area. You do wanna be sure to check out the package though. You wanna buy the pack that has the most cinnamon sticks. That's going to be the best for this DIY. And I did end up needing three bags of cinnamon sticks for this DIY, even though I just had two in the previous clip. I did need a few extra. So all we're going to be doing is hot gluing these cinnamon sticks around our flameless flameless candle. Now I do want to say that the flameless candle is coated in wax so it doesn't work perfectly with hot glue. You might want to use a different kind of glue, a more permanent glue for this, but we are also going to be wrapping this with ribbon at the end so it will be sure to keep everything in place. And you can see here I did stagger them to put the shorter ones in the front and the taller ones in the back. And then in the back, I did have a small area where my tallest one wasn't totally reaching the bottom, but that's okay. You can kind of just play with the placement and you're not going to really notice it in the end. I'm going to take some of the candy cane ribbon from Dollar Tree and just tie it nice and tight around my candle and then just make a bow in the front. For the final touch, I'm going to pick one of these faux floral stems from Dollar Tree. This one here I thought had some really great things in it. All I'm going to need for this DIY are some of those berries and the greenery, but 
will be saving the pine cones for another DIY. Now you can go ahead and just start to fill in the front of it. You can just glue them in place or tuck them underneath the ribbon. And this is how it turned out. Bonus of this DIY is that you get that beautiful smell of the natural cinnamon sticks. It is so fun and looks really beautiful out on a table. Step is a really simple DIY using this holly print plate and bowl from Dollar Tree. Now, if you guys have been here before, you will have seen me do very similar DIYs to this one, but I did want to share it with this holly print. It is such a great hack, especially for the holidays. Just get one of these plates and bowls from Dollar Tree, or you can choose one of the many patterns that they have. And next you're going to need some glue. I like to do a mixture of E6000 and hot glue. You do want a permanent glue. So E6000 is mine here, but there are lots of different ones you can choose. I like to do that because you really want that strong hold, but I do like to add a little bit of hot glue just for that short term hold while your other glue is fully drying. Now, all you have to do is attach these two pieces together. Let this fully dry overnight and you have a gorgeous cake stand for $2.50. You cannot beat this, especially around the holidays. This is the perfect dessert tray, or if you just want to use it for decor, it works for that as well. Next up is another one of my favorites from this video. It is so simple, but looks so fun. So all you're gonna need to get started is two of these clear plastic bowls from Dollar Tree and one of their shower rings. I'm also gonna be grabbing my favorite spray paint ever, this gold spray paint. I'll be sure to link this one down below. It is so beautiful. It gives the most gorgeous gold color. Now I spray painted both of my bowls only on the outside and that shower ring. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and just grab some black paint. This one here is from Dollar Tree. This is their black chalk paint, but you can use any black paint for this. And I'm going to be creating this bell design. It's really simple. All you have to do is basically just create a circle and then a line down. Kind of looks a little bit like a lollipop and I'm going to go ahead and just make four of those on the bottom bowl. Now all you have to do is let that dry then we're going to go ahead and grab some glue. I did just use hot glue for mine, but it would probably be a good idea just to use a stronger glue as well. You might want to add a little bit of E6000 in there. Now go ahead and put your second bowl up top and give this a little bit of time to dry, and then you can glue your shower ring to the top of it. So now it's really starting to take shape, but we are going to be adding some accessories to it. The first is going to be a bow, and I chose this ribbon from Dollar Tree. I thought the print was so beautiful, and I'm going to show you my favorite way to make a bow again. This is very similar to the bow we created in the first DIY. I just cut this long piece here. I did fold it in half and just cut a ducktail into the ends of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and cut two pieces of ribbon. The second one is going to be a little bit smaller than the first one. And now I need a third piece of ribbon that is tiny. So all we have to do is just hot glue these two pieces into a loop, and then we're going to stack those on top of our piece that is going to be the tail of our bow. This really is the perfect way to get the most gorgeous looking bow with no fuss whatsoever. Just going to take those three pieces and just layer all of them on top of each other. You do want to be sure just to lay it on top the center of your bottom ribbon. Now for my small piece of ribbon that's going to hold everything together, I did want that piece to be a bit more narrow so I did fold the ends of it towards the center and now I'm just going to go ahead and hot glue that piece to the back of my bow. Now you can just pull down the tails so they are on the bottom. And if you are having any issues with this, you can just hot glue those in place as well. So now that we have our bow, we can just add it to the top of our bell. And I did just hot glue this in place and you can definitely stop here. But if you want to go one step further, like I did grab one of the faux florals from Dollar Tree. I chose this one with the pine cones. I cut two of them off with my wire cutters and I just hot glued those to the top. This is one of my favorite Christmas DIYs from this year. It definitely gives the appearance of a bell, but it is a fraction of the price of the ones that you will find at the stores. These gold tree candle holders were one of my top finds this year from Dollar Tree. Now these are in the dollar plus area, but they are $3 each. And I think that is a great price for these. They are beautiful and the quality is really great. And I just wanted to share a really easy way to style them. Pick up some of these nutcracker candles. I did also share these in my shop with me. They are gorgeous for $1.25. They're definitely too cute to burn, but they're perfect to put on display. Just add those to the candle holders and then grab some of these faux berries from Dollar Tree. 
trim them off with some wire cutters and add them to the bottom. All you have to do is just curve them facing up or even down, and I think that they look so pretty. Dollar Tree also does sell this berry on a vine. You can just add those to the bottom too, but these candle holders also fit the pillar candles, so grab one of those from Dollar Tree, add the berries to the bottom, and you can add that to your candle holder. Just a really easy way to style these, and these look so pretty out on a table. The Nutcracker is so cute. I think that it has so many details, and it's really nice for $1.25, and there were a few different colors to choose from. I just went with the green, but the pillar candle also looks great. And that is everything for today. I really hope that you guys enjoyed these Christmas Dollar Tree DIYs. You will have to let me know down below if you are going to be trying any of these out. Thank you so much for watching. You can subscribe to my channel by just clicking on my picture right here and be sure to check out this video for some more Christmas fun.